السلام عليكم guys in this video we will build together a URL shortener app with Laravel and Redis only without uh, using any relational database like MySQL or Postgres so let's start is the idea of our application is like that if we have a very long link like this we can copy this and like that application paste and generate a short URL like that so if we click here it leads to the same URL that we use the original URL here, right? And also, so many application is public, no need to authentications, and so on. On this, like this application, for example, if you want to add more features like analytics, clicks, and so on, you need to create an application, but it has no relation with a shorting the URL. First of all, we need to install Redis, so you need to run PHP-M to make sure that Redis is installed in your machine. If didn't install, you can install it uh, instead, pure Redis, and it will work without any problems. So let's start. I will create a new Laravel application. So Laravel here, do is generated our CD URL shortener, and I will open it using VS Code. And now we have two solutions to do our application. If we in general using cache here, uh, it's a file, we can change it to Redis, right? Or if we don't need to use a Redis or if you want to use Redis as a cache driver, you can keep it. And each time when we create a new controller, we will uh, set it manually. So in general, I am using Redis as a driver for my cache. Sometimes we may use memcached it, no pro, it's no problem so i will create our controller here make controller make controller and it's called url shortener controller back to our controller url shortener controller and first of all we will write our code then we will clean it so first of all we need a generating method so here function generate url right and we need to create our request so our son make request generate url request and I will use it here to generate URL request as a request, right? And here I ha I will add two validation methods. The first one here is URL. It's required and must be URL, right? And the second one is expire add or expires after in minutes, right? So I will say here it will be sometimes right integer and maximum i will i don't want to set it maximum actually so if the user provided it must at least be one right it will be a minute so here in minutes and back again and i will say here using redis or cache using redis as I mentioned, let's set it to file, right? Imagine we use another driver and here we can say URL or short URL equal to cache, right? I'm using cache facade here and I will say here store or driver. I would say use Redis, right? And then we can use normal cache method so here i would say uh, remember or put right so it may uh, provide it this parameter may provide it or not so here we it takes three parameters the key right and the value which is the request of the original url and then expires at if expires at not provided it will be null and then it will not be never expired right it will stay forever
and I will say here that could equal to here this generate could so our method would be a function here would be private so we'll convert it to an action letter so generate could and I will say here I will use redis that time so I would say if here redis take care I'm using redis here and exist key for that key will equal to str random here random will be four right and I will check if this key is already taken by another URL then generate another code so first of all I will use this use str here under illuminate support right and I will say if that key exists key or let's say name it code exists then regenerate or reuse that method here this generate code and then return the code to return string right here here is the explanation of that method first of all we will try to generate this random code and because of using redis here i will check if this key is already exists or not here if it already exists then try to generate another code until you find a very unique code that not uh, used before and then return that code so then i will do that code here after calling this method right and in the end i will return here return or result now here will be cache driver redis get code and return json compact here json or compact directly here the result only result and I will use it as API. I will not create any fuse. Go back to our API.php. And I will say here root controller. And our controller name is URL shortener controller class. I will call it. Then group here group function. And now we can say root post generate URL and it used automatically generate URL method, our method here, this method. Right now, let's try it back here. And we will create a new request using a Thunder client, this extension and alternative of postman. And I will first of all link my application to use my application name dot test so i would say here call it link and now i can visit this application using this domain dot test now it works and i will define it also inside my dot mp file so while it's supported only on mac and as you can see here automatically supported right everything works correctly now let's test it i will back again here and in my new request i will say here slash api slash here generate url generate url using post now send request action not authorized back to our request and i will say true and instead of returning html page i will say here accept only json applications json send request now the url field is required go back to our body json i will say url equal to for example http and i need a long url a little bit long url like that and now let's send our request it returns the value again the original value so we need to fix it back again here and we will say 
the URL here must return not the result, the value is true, we don't have any problem with the value, but it will return here our uh, app, right, or config here, uh, app URL slash code from where, if we go to app.php, and here is uh, our app URL, this is value inside dot env file, here is the app URL slash the code that we generated back again and recent that request and as you can see here http our application slash the new generated code send again another code send again another code now let's take it and test it in our tinker to make sure that this value in the cache is the same like that value so it, this key has that value so back here artisan tinker I would say cache driver here redis get this value and as you can see it works correctly now let's create another endpoint or function to visit that URL so I will say here another function called uh, redirect to URL and it takes a string parameter called code and I will say here a port f right if not has if the cache for this not have this code right like that for example if it returns now here it will throw 404 right but if not returned now it will redirect to that value in this case this link so instead of that code here i will take it and i will say result right here read this driver and use the code that we will use if no results then it will throw 404 else we will say here return a redirect to the result first of all i will die and dump a result here and in our web routes so i am mixing between them now in our web routes i will say here code and instead of that here I will say URL shortener controller class and method redirect to URL right now let's try it to use this URL that we already generated by open and as you can see here it returns correctly let's try non-existing code like that here and it throws 404 right so let's remove die and dump here and back again refresh our page and redirects it as you can see here let's also test it with expires time like this if we go here we have expires after minutes as you can see here so we can say in our request here expires after maybe 3 or 30 minutes it's okay so send the request and it will expire after 30 minutes it's the dump to make sure that works correctly the dump request validated here send it to send your request as you can see, expires after 30 minutes to work correctly. Let's try it when, with another URLs. For example, go to Google Android in a sync, PHP Redis class. For example, let's take this long URL, right? And here in our request, and I will replace this here. Send, and I don't want it to be expired. And 
send the request as you can see copy the URL here is the page of we put our URL here the same reason is a quick simple application without using any relational database and here is the idea guys if you have some small services like that idea it's not necessary to use postgres mysql and decrease this relation and then cache queries and so on and so on even if we have more extra features we can create uh, for example uh, maybe view counts or clicks counts so uh, cache also supports something called i think increment method here so when user visit that before redirection we can for example uh, add another key for adding or incrementing the uh, number of clicks or views right so last thing here to get rid of this bad practice i will take this method and i will create new action here under apps and i will see here actions slash generate code action php right and here and i will generate it automatically using a control option g and here's our class right this one and i will say function execute right without any parameters and it will return string and i will say here copy the logic of this method here and remove it from here and also copy here and it's called this classes str here str here under illuminate and use redis here under exists or facade and if it doesn't work rerun execute method right by the way if you don't want to use redis here you can say here cache right has directly and call cache here to unify i just showing the reads as an example after that back again to our controller and here i will say i would even we can inject it here using generate code action called the class here shrine and we can say here generate foot action execute the method so back and test again request send the request again it works copy the url paste visit redirects found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos